As suburban dad, I get into a lot of cars, and I've come to realize there's a list of features that I think every car should have, no matter how inexpensive or how expensive. Now, this isn't some kind of surrealistic dream, but it really is kind of a parent's dream. The conversation mirror is great when you've got very small kids in the second row, and they're yelling at you as they often do, Dad, look what I've done. What it does, you can make eye contact with them and assure them that, yes, at some point, you really are going to get there without them freaking out. One of the key things that I think every car needs to have is an MP3 jack. When I'm on the road with my family on vacations, going to Florida, going to Colorado, whatever, um, very often we run a range of radio stations. And while satellite radio is good, um, I like to hear the music that I like. And so having an MP3 jack where I can plug in a cord for my iPod is crucial. Of all the items on my Suburban Dad Manifesto, one of them that's the least common, pro probably the most helpful, is this 115 volt outlet. It's like any regular household outlet, but for example, when my daughter's DVD player starts running out of battery, she can run it off of this, and it'll keep her and the rest of my kids happier for the rest of the trip. Two items that every family on a long road trip needs is a compass and exterior temperature reading. The compass is great. If you're in a place that you've never been before, and it's a gray day like it is today, you need some idea of which way you're going, especially if you've gotten lost. Now, a lot of uh, people out there will say with the exterior temperature, if you need to know how cold it is outside or how warm it is outside, roll down the window. I disagree. The whole point of that is to keep you from rolling down the window. In the beginning, automakers made cup holders that held 12 ounce cans, and that was good. Then they realized we'd go to 7-Eleven every so often, we'd get big gulps and other big cups, and so they built cup holders that would hold those, and that was great. But then they started building cup holders as if that's all we ever drank. And so if you had a thin bottle like this water bottle, or a coffee cup that was too narrow, and you'd put it in the cup holder, very often they would shimmy, they would shake, and if you came to a sudden stop, they'd go head over heels down into your feet. Not the best experience. Now, Chrysler and others have come up with smart cup holders that use plastic devices that stretch and compact to hold your bottle in place, no matter if it's as narrow as this water bottle or as big as a big gulp. My feet, my floor, they're much happier now. Thank you. This is one of my pet peeves. For a long time, driver's windows have been automatically up and automatically down, and that's great when you're going through a toll booth. But if you've got a family, um, it becomes a problem when the kids in the backseat leave, leave their windows down in inopportune times. Think thunderstorms, for example. So what would be great is if all cars had automatically up and down windows for every seat in the car. This feature is not as common as many of the features that we've been talking about, but side mirrors that dim are crucial. What's crucial about them is once it gets dark outside, these side mirrors keep the headlights that are behind you from blinding you. One of the most important safety features, and one that I hope will be on every car soon, is the automatic lights at this setting here. What that does is during the day, running lights will come on, and when it gets dark, the light sensor up here will tell the car that it's time to turn the headlights on. So at the Chrysler Proving Grounds in Chelsea, Michigan, this is Suburban Dad Patrick Olson for Cars.com. For additional information on this car or any other, go to Cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.